Paris, thanks. There's a new measure in of Congress that could drastically change things in the place that you work. It's called the Employee Free Choice Act. Critics say if passed, it could deny workers the right to a secret ballot when they vote on whether or not to join a union. Former senator and presidential nominee George McGovern is one of this measure's biggest critics. He joins us now live. Senator McGovern, it's good to speak to you. The employee nice to be on your program. The Employee Free Choice Act sounds like a good thing. Great name. Is is are there details behind the name that you don't like? Yes, there are because uh, under the new proposal, uh, workers would have the uh, opportunity to get uh, a union without a secret ballot. They could be uh, pressed into a union being ordered by the National Labor Relations Board if 50 percent plus one, 51 percent, of the workers sign this so-called card check system. Any time under the new law workers had uh, 51 percent of their members signing these cards the national labor relations board would declare that there is a union in that particular plant without a uh, free election which we now have in other words if union organizers went into a plant and got 51 percent of the workers to sign these cards automatically the plant would be declared a union plant now i want to make it clear that i'm studying to unions i think they've done remarkably good things for the benefit of workers but they should not be declared a union plant simply on the basis of signing these cards, yes, it, which is what would happen under seems, the new law. It seems like there's nothing more American than a secret ballot, and uh, you're saying that the prospects of a secret ballot go away from the workplace if this thing gets passed. That could happen. I believe that the system we have in the United States where if you're voting for the President of the United States, if you're voting for a congressperson, if you're voting for a United States senator, I think that that should be a secret ballot. I think the same thing about deciding what is the future of an organization in an industrial or business union. We should not have the uh, union decided, the union plant decided or decided against it simply by signing cards. We should be able, a worker should be able to walk into that polling place, close the curtain, and express his or her judgment without somebody looking over their shoulder or somebody simply handing them a card where it's public knowledge how you're going to uh, vote. That's not the American way, and that's why I oppose this so-called new system called the free choice system. It's not a free choice if you have somebody pressing you to sign a card if you do it without the privacy of the polling place. You're a former Democratic presidential nominee. This year's Democratic presidential nominee, Obama, supports this plan. In fact, he's one of the co-sponsors of the bill. Have you spoken to him about it and expressed your opposition? I support Barack uh, Obama. Everybody knows that. I've gone public about it. But when it comes time to vote, I don't want to have to do that by simply signing a card that somebody hands me publicly where everyone would know what I did in terms of my uh, vote. I want that to be in private, and I think workers should hang on to the uh, private secret polling place which they're now uh, guaranteed but would not be guaranteed under this so-called free choice system it's really not secret
uh, when you have to sign a card, which maybe several people know how you, how you've uh, voted in that uh, election. You don't have an election. You really just have a choice that could be made under pressure from other people. That's not the American way of deciding something as important as to whether or not a plant is going to have a union or whether it's going to reject uh, the union. Yeah, I would of, hope that workers would, cho would choose a, a union, but I don't want them pressured into doing that one way or the other. A lot of thorny issues there. Senator George McGovern, former Democratic presidential nominee, and we know, just wanted to say real quickly, you're